This is Margaret with Noble Desktop, and today we will be learning about the feature Export Frame in Premiere Pro. How to create stills or freeze frames, however you'd like to call it, in your movie. And also how to export a still for promotional material, for, for a number of reasons. We will find a place that we could create a nice freeze frame. That's a good place, jumping midair. I want to have it hold on that for just a moment have a freeze frame of him in midair before he resumes. So to create a freeze frame, you would click on this little camera here, or you would press Shift E for export frame. If you don't have this camera, go over to this plus symbol, which is your button editor, and you would take this camera and drag it down to this panel. Okay, so I'm just gonna click on this camera I'm going to call this Mid-Air Jump. PNG, the format that Premiere Pro does like is PNG. And Import into Project is checked, which is what I'd like it to be. So now I'm going to say OK. Now in my browser, I have a new image called Mid-Air Jump. I'm going to double click on it. My playhead has re remained exactly where I created the freeze frame or the export frame. So now all I need to do is in insert that right in there. I can click on the insert button or I can press comma. Let's take a look at it. So from here I can determine how long I'd like this to be. Maybe that's enough. I'm going to press W to cut from the playhead to the end of the clip. Let's take a look. So I'm going to do it again. Okay, maybe right there is where I want the freeze frame. Camera, I'm going to call this Mid-Air 2. Here it is in my browser, double click on it, comma. Better. Now W, let's take a look at it. Okay, lots of fun. Now let's say that what I would like to do is create a promo material for my film that I'm making. Let's find a nice still. Maybe right there. Maybe I'd like that to be promotional material for this film. So my playhead is right there. I'm gonna press on the camera or Shift E. And this time I'm going to make a couple of changes. I'm gonna call this promo one. Maybe I want this to be a TIFF or a JPEG instead of a PNG, a little bit of a heavier file. Now I need to uncheck important to project for sure because I do not want it in my project. I want it somewhere that I'm determining. I have um, a folder called stills already set up. I'm gonna actually put it in yet another folder. I'm gonna call this folder promo material and say choose. So make sure this isn't checked when I say OK. On my desktop, under promo material, this very nice, high quality image that I can send out to people or however I'd like to use it. When you're making a freeze frame in your movie, that there is a path here. This path now mimics the last the last folder that this was at. And even though your freeze frame is going to be imported into your project, it does exist somewhere else. It exists outside of your browser. So you have to keep this, you can't delete the promo material. Or in, in the other case, we had it was going through a folder called stills. But you have to know that this is an item that you cannot delete if you want to keep your freeze frames. So to describe, I want, I'll make another freeze frame and import this one into the project and say, OK. If I were to, and I'm going to press my comma, put this in. So if I were to later on delete that from this folder, W make it smaller, this is what would happen. So here I have this export still. I'm going to, I'm going to just put that in the trash. So now what happens? It went offline. It no longer exists.
You have to make sure you do not delete the folders that contain your stills. I hope you've enjoyed this lesson on Export Frame. This has been Margaret with Noble Desktop.